The SCL Partners Edge Ecosystem Tool is an interactive model that maps different companies across the edge computing value chain. We currently have over 100 companies in this tool. So the tool is made up of different categories and we have seven here. The first one is facility, which is really the space or the land and the data center that's going to host all the edge applications. Um, additional to that, you have companies who are providing power and cooling services, as well as the maintenance for that site. Inside of the facility, you have the hardware, and this spans all the way from the racks and the servers to the processes deep inside the servers, um, in addition to the end devices and any maintenance that's associated with upkeep of the hardware. The next level is cloud infrastructure, and this is because we see Edge as really an extension of the cloud. And so, therefore, those who are providing some of the virtualization capabilities, containers and orchestration platforms, plus the developer platforms, are likely to play at the edge as well, and there may be some new companies here too. On top of that edge cloud infrastructure sit the applications or the software themselves. And these applications sometimes are end enterprise applications, so for example, a video surveillance solution, or they may be consumer applications like a cloud game, or it can also be network functions for the telcos for running their virtual networks. And then there are the analytics and APIs to support those applications, plus they may rest on platform as a service type models too. We can't forget the network of course, and there are some specific network capabilities and services that are required at the edge. Some of those exist today such as Cloud Connect, and these need to be extended to the edge to better move traffic between the cloud and the edge itself. Plus, there's the edge gateways which are required to ensure that traffic from devices go to the right edge site, um, in addition to some of the content application delivery mechanisms. The last piece of the value chain is really the integration and services layer, and especially for enterprises who are looking to integrate edge computing into their ICT infrastructure, there is a real need for professional services and systems integration to make sure that these new edge compute applications fit into their back-end systems today. Our last category in the edge ecosystem tool is what we've called open source and forums. We believe it's really important that enterprises, developers, telcos and cloud companies are all part of these um, organizations, whether they be open source communities who are looking for developers to um, to develop the, the technology and code that fits into uh, the edge applications or platforms, um, or it may be more broader forums and communities who are developing the use cases and building an understanding and alignment across the business models and partnership models across the ecosystem. So what's next for the edge ecosystem tool? Well, the first thing is that we'd like to say is that we really want your input. We've already spoken to a number of vendors and companies who are part of the Edge ecosystem tool to get some ideas on how we could extend this further and make it more valuable to all. And some of the ideas that we've come up with so far are things like being able to map companies to different types of edges, whether it's on-premise edge or network edge, integrating new forms of navigation, or even deepening some of the information that we have on different companies with regards to their capabilities. But we are always looking for more, so do get in contact.